could leave uh, and head back to a city, or we no, are we're traveling on. We're going to. We're going to. On our way. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Wait, wait. Before we go, I have to <clears throat> pray to oh. the traveler. Oh. To. You do that. You pray daily now. Well, yeah. I. It's how I decide. Uh, help! He helps me figure out what yeah, I'm going to do for the day. She draws a dick on a tree or something. I mean. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go carve a dick on a tree. Oh, okay. Well, you should have just and said that. Say, um, hey, traveler. We're gonna get going. We had some breakfast, and I'm gonna carve this dick. <laughs> As right, you, while you carve that, 50 push-ups, let's go. Fucking. Yeah, right. come on. You guys get part way through your push-ups begin you, before you begin to hear this like dull cracking sound. <laughs> right as Jester finishes her carving of the dick on the side of a jungle tree, you hear <laughs> as the outside of the tree begins to splinter and split. And from the edges of this carved dick, you see flowers begin to bloom and erupt from it. Vines begin to suddenly start shifting out of it at a rapid pace and swirling around, almost encapsulating a large majority of this clearing you guys have been sleeping in, the fallen, rotted log that you had set yourself to rest against, itself being kind of swallowed by these vines as flowers of all colors begin to permeate. The scent of the air immediately begins to change to a very welcoming, almost, almost bakery-like aroma. You can see glowing fireflies beginning to tangle through and swirl. The wind itself becomes cool and kind of sends a chill through your back. Yet it's alarming, but you feel comfortable. Praise be! What is happening? What is this? Oh, this is a bit weird. Did you do this? The traveler has made his presence known! Is this the. This the... <laughs> You watch as the dick suddenly begins to fold into, I love oh that, that that's the base of it, oh fold, to fold into the tree and become a doorway. Oh, a small doorway that grows in size. That doesn't look so he travels! So the base grows. <laughs> the dick hold. He travels everywhere, to and fro, he travels bright, great distances why are you talking he like is that? a god. A bright, kind of tealish light begins to emerge from this carved hole in the center that opens up into an arched gateway. Okay, well, that is a urethra. Oh. <laughs> and stepping from it, you see, to you, and a handful of you in glimpses, a familiar green-robed figure. A few steps back. I get down and kneel. Is this? This is the traveler. I know, but but. The hand reaches out and touches the top of Jester's head. Thank you, my acolyte. Oh. Hello. Everybody, everybody say hi to the hi, traveler. Hello. hello. Oh. How are you doing? He's a god, hi. so he's really cool. So, Friends of Jester, you've traveled and kept her safe, and for that I'm thankful. And we are on the cusp of a grand event, one that Jester may need your aid in. Oh. Un understood. Should we just should we just tell them now? If you want, I can, we can tell them. I okay. Guess. What's happening? I feel like. What is this? Jess? Hey, so there's something really awesome happening that I just found out about. Um, the traveler is mm, not actually a god, god, god. I'm sorry. But he's like uh -huh. a mostly god, god. Right. I go up and I touch him. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of whoa, whoa, kind of gets pushed back a bit and puts a hand up and just as a as a reaction and the vines around wrap around I, your arm and I hold it in place. Him? Can I can I like monk parry him? You're gonna, he's a god. I to touch him. Make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. I believe in you. I Where are my d twenties. I'm jumping up and trying to get the between them. That has taken Where your are my <laughs> Okay. Dexterity saving throw? Correct. Okay. Uh, um, 22. 22. The vines shh, come out towards you, and in slow motion, as they're about to wrap around your wrists, you shh, 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 pull your arm out and then shh, snap shut. And he goes, shit. <laughs> I turn around. Yeah, not a god. Hey, 
I said he's almost like god, not a god god. Okay, so here's the thing I'm realizing now. Maybe at TravelerCon you don't appear in the flesh. Like, you just should not What the appear fuck is going all. on? What are you like, talking about? You should about? always be, like, bigger, right? Because I think, like, okay. if you're here as a, as a you person. Watch as the Traveler's form suddenly swells Whoa. to about 15 feet Whoa. tall, the, the battle's <laughs> cracking above him. I didn't think this through. Justin, maybe not. Maybe maybe back to normal size What's for the adoption. Maybe. Maybe come come back down here, friend. Is this too much? It's too oh much. God. <laughs> Jeez. I am the. Tr- uh, pulls the hood back and kind of sits on his knees. <laughs> kind of goes. <laughs> yeah, like huge fucking knees. He's kind of consuming half of this open space now. The vine's still around, like the still like glittering firebugs, but now is just this sitting giant with the bright mane of orange hair, the elongated fey ears, the fine pointed features. I go up and pat his, well, I guess his calf. About that's probably. About he kind of puts a hand down. Chester. I climb on his hand. Chester, to what do we owe this uh, vi- visitation after so many months with you? Well, travel cons coming up, right? Yeah, sure. And we got to figure out a way to make you know all the other people attending travel con not have to talk to him as much because it's annoying. What does that mean? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a lot. Okay, so <laughs> wait. First of all. Who is this guy? Oh, this is the Traveler. But you said that the Traveler was a god who's been with you forever and whose faith you put, you you follow? Yeah, okay, so here's the thing. I was thinking about it a lot last night, and I don't remember you ever telling me you actually were a god, so I can totally blame you for this. It was kind of... An assumption I wasn't quick to correct. I I just told her. No, but you you just told her all of this last night? You thought this whole time that he. Was this a bad idea? Should I go? No, stay, please. We have heard so much about you. See? I've heard a few things about you. I saw you in Asarius. Did you see me, or was that like a mistake? Was I not supposed to see you? I was probably running Were you drunk? towards the end of my. You were drunk. End of my threats. I was not drunk, I was oh. tired. Okay. If we may yeah, be so, so bold, um, yes. you're, you're an almost god. Is this what you would refer to yourself as? This is an almost god. Um, I'm going to set Jester down a bit. <laughs> I am an unaffiliated El Judecon Archfey. What does that mean? Arch? Arch means evil, doesn't it? Unfilled. Like your arch nemesis? No. Your, uh, your arch, arch rival? It's only used it, in bad things. It means like the greater, greater grand. Oh, okay. More than right. I can do many things. But I am not a god. And I've been enjoying helping people. I've helped Jester for the better part of two decades now, I think it is. And in doing so, I think I've helped all of you quite a bit. But just to be clear, you're not a god. I thought you were. I thought you were a a, a, a holy magician, a holy mage. No, I think he is more like this. Frumpkin appears on the ground. Ah. Oh, but not <laughs> him. Her. Yeah. Where do you get your powers from then? From oh, him. This also from me. But you're not a... Oh, do you think gods are the only entities that can grant their essence and powers to lesser beings? What do you think demonic entities make choices with? I can already sense some dark deals in your half-orc friend here. Thank you. No, I just think it gives a little bit more credit to her, that's all. Oh, all credit goes to her, she's amazing. But, just know, just because I'm not a god doesn't mean that I'm not trustworthy, or important, or capable, or a friend. You could kill all of us right now if you wanted to. I actually really could, it'd be very easy. But I'm not going to do that, because that's not interesting, that's not fun. What are you here to do? Find things that are interesting and have fun. What if, oh my god, ultimate trick? Mm Mm-hmm. You don't show up to TravelerCon. What if everybody gets there, and you don't come? I mean. That would be pretty great. It's a pretty good trick. Oh, so many 
angry people. I know, I know, I know. Are you okay with dealing with that kind of customer support? Well. Because if so, I'm all about it. 